Alright, hello guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about who could see snowfall this September. And also, we're going to be talking about who can see snowfall in the next three days as I'm going to have a snowfall forecast at the end of this one for some of the areas that could be seeing snowfall very, very shortly. But before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you like weather-related content. And also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias, particularly the Instagram. And we're going to be doing viewer sent-in photos. And then I think on the weekly forecast, I'm going to be showing those photos uh, in the video for the weekly forecast, if you guys are familiar with that. So if you tag us in pictures on Instagram, we will be going through some of those and showing those on the weekly forecast. So make sure to participate in that. If you do do weather photography, make sure you tag us using the tag feature and not adding us in the description of the photo because that doesn't actually notify us. So you're going to have to tag us in the photo actually. Now we're getting things started. Looking at our past 72 hours, 72 hour accumulation and this was from the, looks like this was from about the 9th through the 12th. We did have some heavier snow. I wanted to talk about some of the areas that already have had snow this September. First things first. So you see some areas in Utah, some areas in northwestern Wyoming, and some areas along uh, Colorado, Montana, Idaho, and some mountaintops in Washington and Oregon have had snow snowfall recently. Now... Also, from my video where I talked about uh, when to expect your first snowfall, this is the areas that we expect to see people get their snowfall before sep before October, which means September most likely. So you can see, again, northwestern Wyoming, some areas in Wyoming and Montana, and then some areas in Colorado are the areas we typically see s getting snowfall this time of year. The, Rock the southern Rockies down there in Colorado haven't been getting as much snow as typical, but Wyoming, Montana, Idaho have been getting an above average amount of snowfall so far, or sooner than average at least, uh, as far as September is concerned, because we've seen central Idaho get a lot of snow, as well as some areas in Montana and Wyoming that are kind of unexpected, as well as w Washington and Oregon getting some earlier snowfall on their mountaintops. It's not unheard of, but it is a little bit earlier than normal. But again, these red areas are the areas that we usually expect to see our snowfall, uh, to this point before October starts. Now, here's your GFS total snowfall through September 30th, and you can see there's actually a lot of snowfall expected according to the models. We are going to be having below average temperatures out here in the northwest throughout the rest of September. So really, I mean, a lot of snowfall here for the higher elevations in California, Nevada, Utah, Oregon, Washington, and then particularly Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. Uh, Montana could get really interesting because some of the lower elevation areas in Montana could be getting some snowfall very, very soon. Uh, but I wanted to mention that we do have very, very, you know, heavy accumulations, very, very possible. These purples and pinks are heavy enough for this time of year, 4 to 12 inches within the pinks and purples. But as you head into green, that's 12 inches to 24 inches. And then as you get into that darker blue slash gray area where we see that a lot here in Montana and Wyoming, that's where we could get 24 inches plus of snow, which is really extreme for this time of year, actually. We don't typically see that much snowfall happen uh, in September yet. It is a bit early for those types of snowfalls. Now, again, I mentioned that even the lower elevation areas could get snowfall. Here's your GEM model, which is the Canadian model. Not saying it's the most reliable model, but it is something that we want to take into consideration. Again, California, Nevada, Utah, we're all getting a little bit of snow for some of our higher elevations, as well as Washington and Oregon. But then, again, particularly Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming look to get the most snow this September, or before October at least. And this is only through the 29th again. So we do see those greens pop up for the similar areas as well as the blues, those dark blues within the green. But I wanted to mention on this one, we see eastern Montana get a lot of snow. You know, that's within the four to even seven inches of snow for a lot of those lower elevation areas in Montana. So that's interesting. So, so those are areas that definitely don't usually see snowfall in September. And we're seeing it very, very possible that before October, we will be seeing snowfall for these eastern areas and lower elevation areas in Montana. And people actually live there in some areas in North Dakota as well. Uh, and then it is a, a little bit more spread out through Wyoming. So this is very interesting. So we could get some actually some populated areas getting some snowfall in the United States very, very soon, which is interesting. 
Now, here's your snowfall forecast through the 21st. So from the 19th through the 21st, we have a lot going on. Again, let me know how you think I can tweak these. I lowered the contrast on the actual map below because people were mentioning uh, that the the actual satellite imagery of the land um, was kind of bothering them or not letting letting it giving them the ability to actually see the snowfall totals. It was kind of interfering with their ability ability to see where I was actually expecting snowfall. So I lowered the contrast on that, and I think it looks a lot easier to see where I think there's going to be snow. Um, so, yeah. But the color shading, I want to keep the same because the colors are very different on each level, and I built those last year, and they seem to do really well. Uh, and I've never had people complain about having in a, you know trouble finding out which color shade they're in. So it should be quite easy. Now, we do expect some snowfall here in Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, and a little bit of northern Nevada there. Northern Nevada into Idaho, uh, we see these mountaintops there where we're seeing in the white, that's a dusting to three inches. So we see three different mountaintops there in between Nevada and Idaho getting those. And then even in that light blue, we're expecting three to six inches those two easternmost mountaintops we're expecting to get three inches and above. Now, central Idaho, a lot of central Idaho and then bordering Montana uh, from Idaho, we do see a lot of the dusting to three inches, but three inches plus for some areas there on the border. And then some of those higher mountain peaks there, right, a, you know, just a little bit of distance away from the Idaho border in Montana. And then some of those really high elevation mountains in central Idaho, we're expecting a really big area of three to six inches of snow in that darker blue. We see six inches plus there. So some of the areas in central Idaho are going to be getting quite a bit of snow here. Now in northern Utah, uh, just a little bit away from Salt Lake City, just to your east from Salt Lake City, um, we do actually see a big area of dusting to one inch and then or a dusting to three inches and then three to six inches in that lighter blue that's pretty widespread and then we do have a little bit of an area again where we're expecting six to ten inches again just to the east of salt lake city uh so it's, it's very very close obviously there's a big elevation difference there so you know we're not expecting salt lake city to get snow soon but just to your east we are seeing snow in some of those beautiful areas and mountain tops there in the beautiful state of Utah. Now, southern Montana that borders Wyoming and also Idaho, kind of near Yellowstone, we're expecting a big, big, big area of, again, dusting to three inches. And then a, the biggest area of three to six is right there near Yellowstone as well. Uh, and then within that, you can see there's four different areas, and those are higher elevation areas where we're expecting six to 10 inches of snow. Uh, a lot of models have it going over 10 inches, but I'm being a little bit conservative and I'm going to say uh, it's pretty early and I don't think that we will get over 10 inches in very many places, maybe very isolated mountain tips, but for the most part, uh, 6 to 10 inches is a pretty solid bet for some pretty widespread areas there on some of those peaks in Wyoming and Montana, as well as the mountains that border Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho in that um, border area there. We also have a mountain just east of there, uh, kind of more in north central Wyoming, and we're expecting a dusting to three inches there, as well as in that blue, three to six inches of snow. And just to the south of our big area of three to six that we were talking about, we have two different areas, two separate areas of three to six inches of snow. Again, higher elevation, so we're seeing higher snowfall totals for those regions now again give me feedback on how we did this snowfall forecast and how the map looks i think it looks great i think it looks beautiful we have much higher resolution maps now if you were watching last year you know that this is much better maps and very very hd compared compared to last year so as we're getting more subscribers more viewers and more money i am investing into uh obviously the channel and getting us much much better graphics so that it looks better it's more pleasing on the eye and also it helps you to differentiate if you're going to get snow or not or see the different layer so it is helpful as well and anyway, guys thank you so much for watching this video again follow the instagram from the pinned comment and if you do have if for some reason you happen to end up in some of these mountains during the snow be sure to send us in some videos and photos of that snowfall and we'll be sure to share it on the Instagram as well as after the weekly forecast. It'd be really cool to see some videos from the first, you know, September snowfall. Not the first, but really some pretty early snowfall here. So if you do happen to have video of this snowfall, send it in and we'll be sure to share it on the YouTube channel and obviously give you a shout out in that. We will have a 
uh, written area where you can see your name. Uh, and then also we'll share it to the Instagram as well. Anyway, guys, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.